6,500 20 pound Cougar 26 RKS here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This falls comfortably within the half ton towable segment. But what's nice is uh, it looks like a lot of lighter weight RVs, but I think the best way I can describe one of these is, uh, you know, lightweight plus. Because what it brings to the table are a lot of big RV features in a smaller RV segment. So we're half ton towable, beautiful front windshield, 70 by 80 king bed, outside kitchen, direct facing entertainment center, uh, zero degree rated, and a partridge in a pear tree. Now with the slide closed, you have sort of a two-stage access method here. Um, what is nice is when you're going down the road or if you're just getting packed up, uh, what's really nice and critical is being able to get to all that kitchen storage. And you see that you can do that here very easily. Now, uh, there also is another kick of storage really kind of behind the TV as well as within the entertainment center here, something I uh, often refer to as a pantry tainment center, including this extra closet. Um, but uh, getting to the bedroom, we just use the other door which can take us up here into the bedroom where you can get to your, you know, like closet storage, uh, as well as that new 70 by 80 king bed that uh, previously these cougars had a short camp king. Now they have a full 70 by 80 king, just like something like a big Montana luxury fifth wheel. But what's cool, and we'll explain this as we go, they managed to do this without making the trailer one inch longer. Now the seating arrangement here, and really the entertainment center is a near match for a 26 RBS uh, Cougar here at Halet RV. What you're doing is you're swapping a rear bathroom from the 26 RBS for a rear kitchen on this one. So you can kind of decide which one is a little more important to you. Now they're both going to give you, uh, like I said, this uh, extended sort of, a, sort of bumps out um, electric space heating fireplace here. Helps uh, put a little extra heat in the RV without burning up your propane necessarily. And they both give you this huge 4K TV directly across from the sofa. Now, before I get too far along, I do want to mention that the one that we have in stock could be, and very likely is, somehow different from this one. For instance, this is the darker twig decor with a theater seat and a booth dinette. Um, we have other versions of this coming in in the storm decor, which is a lighter tone uh, that will have maybe a theater seat and a freestanding table and chairs. So we've had some kind of mixed feedback on how people wanted this one. We thought, you know what, we'll bring them in in kind of a mix and we'll let them sit side by side and duke it out and decide which one's the winner. And who knows, maybe it'll be kind of an even mix of the two. So do keep in mind that this might be different from what we have on hand. You can always visit our website or call our guys to verify our uh, what's in stock. Now, um, the uh, normal here would be a high to bed. So a theater seat is actually a swap out upgrade. But I think in a floor plan like this, especially directly across from that entertainment center, it's going to be what a lot of people are looking for. But one of the main reasons you're looking here at the 26 RKS as opposed to the 26 RBS is just an immense amount of kitchen storage space. And this one will deliver that. So starting over here at a really heavily glorified uh, pantry tainment center, you see that the TV acts as a door to storage behind it, but you've got good deep storage above that entertainment center as well. Now all of our cabinet doors here have uh, hardwood frames. Uh, all the cabinetry itself is pocket screwed for longevity. You've got the uh, larger sort of almost like shaker style uh, cabinet handles, full handle poles basically to really get a hold of stuff. And I like how they separated this down here. This could definitely be like good shelf storage space, but really they gave you an additional closet here, which is kind of cool. So you do have either, you could use this for jackets or extended um, hanging storage for additional clothing that doesn't quite fit in the master bedroom. Now behind this TV, a double articulated swing arm is doing a few things for us. First of all, it makes it easy to get behind the TV to get to the plugs. So if you do want to expand your entertainment, because there is extra HDMI uh, outlet on this, um, like if you want to add a Blu-ray or something like that, you have the ability to do that very simply and easily. Plus behind the TV, you've got all the room in the world to do it. Um, additionally, you can use this with the shelf that they put behind it, like legit pantry space. And then the TV, let's see if I can do this with one hand, probably not. Yeah, the TV will just kind of fold itself back in place. But what's cool, kind of like it did there, you know what, I'm gonna take this accident, I'm gonna roll with it. The TV kind of swung toward me a little further than I was intending, but that means it's a nice way to show you that it could also easily face the dinette, but it can swing out even further and more so to do it. Now down here, I love that little shelf uh, up in front of the, or above the fireplace rather, um, and it's kind of one of these things Cougar sort of stumbled onto by accident. They were actually making a, uh, the sort of a bunkhouse version of this called a 29BHS, which is a personal favorite of mine 
line. Cougars have really crept up in the travel trailer world to be, I think, one of the strongest offerings I've seen in a long time. They've done some really sharp things here. But stuff like this, they realized that instead of a lower cabinet that you'd have to be on your hands and knees to get into, they said, wait a minute, what if we make it an outside kitchenette? Well, then what if we just mount a fireplace on the inside of it and blam! You have this awesome storage entertainment center here. Now, it's not necessarily related to storage, but the camera's kind of pointing at it. So I'm going to talk about this open feeling vaulted ceiling, double vaulted inside and out. One of the things I like about that is it means that since the roof doesn't get thinner as you get toward the sidewall, there's no insulation gaps for sweat lines along the walls. Additionally, remember how I began this video and that Cougar, it's in a smaller RV category, that half ton laminated uh, trailer category. But they're bringing big RV things to the table, like a standard 15,000 BTU air conditioner, um, like a, a standard 0 to 100 degree rated package. And I'll talk more about that outside, but they're doing some big RV things in small RV size, like a larger 8 cubic foot fridge standard. I love this little stand by the door, by the way. So just a neat little, like, personally, I'd use that to keep my shoes out of the way. I'd keep my shoes in there, keep them kicked out of the way. Plus, there's a handy set of outlets right here, which is just begging you to throw like a little phone charger station together. And as silly as it sounds, that extra window right here on the door side of the RV, if someone's knocking on the door, you can just kind of peek around the corner, take a look. You can look out at your campsite. It's an awesome visibility item. Um, now, in command is something we'll also talk about more outside. But basically, guys, this is uh, telling us, oh, right now it's telling me that my battery box I'm using to run the lights is getting low. So it's even live monitoring my battery box, which is cool. But you can use this to uh, operate uh, a lot of your main RV systems. And anything that you can do on this, like lights, slides, awnings, and heating and cooling, you can also do right off your phone. So what's cool about that, guys... You're sitting in this chair in the morning, and then the sun starts cranking on you, and it gets hot in here. You don't even have to give up. You can, you can literally just grab your phone and crank up the AC, or turn it down, or however you'd properly phrase that. I've never exactly figured out the proper way to phrase turning up the AC to lower the temperature of the RV, but I think you know what I mean. So we talked about the bigger fridge. We've got uh, you know full overhead cabinet space. They gave us everything up here they possibly could, and I love the double window arrangement back here. I think this is something that's going to fall right into the category of a, a floor plan I actually had a hand in developing. That's the open range 2804 rear kitchen. I think that this is going to kind of appeal to a lot of the same buyers. We've got pressed membrane countertops here, sink covers on top of a stainless double sink. You see that high rise uh, sprayer faucet as well. And note, we have really easy reach outlets in this one. That's a killer thing they did in this. You, like, you see the, uh, the outlet right there. And we've got an outlet right below the countertop line over here. So your appliances are always going to be easy to operate here in this Cougar. Now, that rear wall is laminated. Historically, that wasn't the case in Cougars, but Keystone has begun to laminate their uh, rear walls pretty much across the board. Usually, when you have a laminated wall, you don't typically get a wall-mounted power outlet. But you can do that on a Cougar because they have full thickness 2-inch sidewalls versus inch and a half ultralight walls. So it's just another one of those big RV features and feels that you're getting in a smaller category. Good drawer space where you want it. Plenty of room for waste baskets down here below the sink. And uh, back here at the entertainment center, remember, we've got that, uh, what I call the no neck wrecker entertainment with the sofa that faces directly at the uh, screen. We have max size super slide windows. And if I point the camera right at the windows, uh, through the curtains, you can see that center beam on those because those are sliding airflow windows. So our main windows and the slide side windows will all open to give you just some crazy killer airflow in here. Now, once again, there are multiple different seating arrangements that you can put in here. And I would love it if you folks at home would leave us some comments and some feedback what you think of the, the best, your personal preference in terms of seating arrangement would be here. Because like right now, we're looking at this uh, dual wall hugging uh, cinema seating, which can push back to give uh, a couple little kids an extra place to sleep, as well as that dinette that can fold down into a sleeper. Now there is storage below the dinette as well, so every arrangement has its own specific points of positivity, but I'd really be curious to know what everyone thinks is, quote, the correct or the best way to do it, because no matter how we build it, someone's going to tell us that it's wrong, you know, it's just something that I've learned over time. I wanted to give you uh, a look the other direction at the entertainment center here before we moved on to the bedroom and bathroom, because, I mean, it's just, this is a model that I'm honestly sort of disappointed in how it looks on camera because when you walk through it in person, it's great. But when you see it on camera, it's hard to really be able to take in the whole room at a time. And uh, I don't know, I think that kind of matters. Now, a couple quick notes. 
In Command gives us the ability to control our ceiling lights right from that panel or our phone. But you still have a light switch right here if you need it. That is a thermostat probe, by the way. Uh, you know, that's what's actually sensing everything. Now, over here in the super slide, you have touch switch lighting, and it does have a dimmer feature as well if you hold your thumb on it with memory settings. So that can be a handy night light, or if you're watching a movie at night, over here in your little cinema recliner, you got your feet kicked up, you got the popcorn in between you, you got a drink in that cup holder right there. Well, you can, uh, you know, dim the lights without having to necessarily turn everything off. And by the way, I just noticed this kick off in the corner of my vision here. You have motion sense lighting, both at the main entry, bam, there you go, as well as in the pass-through area of these cougars. So it's nice as it's not on, it's not attracting a big old cloud of gnats by the door, so as soon as you open the door, the gnats aren't jumping in. Now here in the bathroom, we do have porcelain foot flush stool. I wanted to show you that there is a really good amount of space below the sink there for storage, but what's nice is that's not the only storage in this bathroom. Plenty of leg room in front of that uh, uh, porcelain stool as well, for you know, for two reasons. One, long legs if you're on the toilet, and two, to get dressed when you get out of the shower. Big sink and an even bigger countertop with plenty of space. Uh, handy towel hanging rack on the right side and an oversized mirrored vanity right there are a couple really nice features. Now we've got an easy entry split open shower here, but one of the things that is very hard for me to try to capture on a still camera, and even the sun's not cooperating with me now, is the fact that there's a large, good, dedicated linen cabinet right here in this bathroom. Now that shower is very big person friendly for a few reasons. The really vaulted ceiling on this plus the skylight position means it's going to be, you know, pretty uh, friendly for taller folks like me. And that radius shower gives you extra elbow room where you want it. Now before we leave the bathroom, something I want to point out here is the thickness of these interior walls. Cougars don't just have extra thick exterior walls. All of their interior door frames are fully studded out inside of the wall and they're thicker like three inches so that everything is a little bit stronger remains a little square i suppose it's a little heavier but frankly 6500 pounds i think is pretty fair for something this size so this is you know it's all not going anywhere now here in the bedroom these are all 50 amp service by the way or if they're not we've been upgrading them that way i'm not sure which but um i'm pretty sure they're standard 50 amp now i could be wrong so if you want to add a second air, you can. Sometimes maybe we'll have it in stock, second air, or we'll get it built for you that way. Now, that front windshield does have an interior privacy shade so that people aren't peeking at you. You've got uh, uh, side stands on both sides of the bed with household outlets, so super CPAP friendly. And last year, this had this interesting 70 inch wide by 74 inch long short camp king. When they redesigned the nose caps to now include that front windshield, they were able to actually extend the bed forward without lengthening the RV. So they now have a 70 by 80 Montana sized king bed in a half ton towable travel trailer that is also zero degree rated. So guys, you no longer have to get into this big over the top expensive fifth wheel just to get something that can be used for extended season RVing for couples. There's a lot of people who are looking for something smaller but nicer and Cougars can now truly comfortably offer that sort of uh, camping experience. Now when they went to this, what I'm going to call the front windshield generation for pretty obvious reasons, they made a couple really uh, important updates and upgrades that we're going to talk about as we go around, but it gives you a very easy uh, sort of visual cue as to what generation you're in. Uh, we still have the nicer um, metallic slam latches, and I point out metallic because they're not plastic compression latches. We still have protected hinges on our baggage doors. We still have that nice magnet hold back. And the baggage door is a full thickness lamination so that uh, you've got a insulation barrier here so that in a hot or cold camp situation, you're not losing your heat or your cooling under the master bed. Now, that big king bed has a big king pass through. That is absolutely no joke, all the space that they have in here. Over here is our master control center. I said we come back to in command. Now, right above it is another of those motion sensitive lights like we saw inside, but down here, in command is kind of the control center for the RV. It, it runs more than just that little digital touchpad. It basically runs everything. It also gives you easy access to all the main wiring in the RV. And this is also an easy point to uh, uh, mention that Keystone was the first towable RV manufacturer and they're still in the minority of manufacturers who color code every wire in this thing. It has, I think, improved 
the quality of this RV in several different ways. One, first of all, God forbid we needed to work on it, which we haven't really had to work on in-command stuff because it's doing its job well. It's easier to do. It's going to cut down on tech labor time, save you money. Secondly, it's allowing them to be more accurate and precise from the factory level. I think that's a big deal. Now, God forbid that touchpad gives up the ghost. You can still turn this little knob right here to operate whatever motor you want, open and close it, so you still have a manual override. Now, on the opposite side of that pass-through, you see some switches and stuff. What is that stuff? One is a battery disconnect switch, so that while this thing's in storage, your battery's not getting eaten alive. The other one uh, is uh, switches for your tank heating pads, because uh, as part of their new zero-degree uh, proven initiative, Cougars now have 12-volt heating pads on all of their holding tanks, which is really, really neat. So, um, before we get there, though, power awning, power tongue jack, power stabilizer uh, jack standard. Everything on this is push button simple. They have that extra large micro quilted diamond plate on the front, that uh, fully painted automotive nose cap with that inset windshield. All that stuff will be covered under their uh, three year structural warranty. And that's another thing I want to talk about, and I'll hit on it a little bit as we go. There's a lot of different brands that offer three year structural coverage out there. It's not all created equally. And the fact that Keystone does more things in house, like they don't have to outsource the, the paint work on their nose cap, so they're able to guarantee that under their own warranty. There's just more things that because they're the largest producer of uh, laminated product on the market by far, that uh, they can just they can handle for you. So um, here's a better look. You know what? I've, I've, as long as I've got this door open, here's a better look at the uh, the power jack switch, your nose cap switches, uh, your tank hold uh, heating pads, all that battery disconnect stuff right there. Now you see this little blue coily hose. One of the neat things on this is that it has a residential fitting end, and that hooks up here to be your outside utility shower with hot and cold facilities. Um, so you can have an actual like garden sprayer hose head over here if you want it to. Now this is also going to be like your city water connection. Um, you've got uh, a solar quick connect here. So uh, we are ready for a little bit off-grid use, some, some casual off-grid use, I'd say, to keep your batteries topped off. And a big old pass-through compartment gives us the ability to do that. Now, another note, we have all LED tail and marker lights on this beauty. So these are uh, brighter, gonna last longer, uh, safer because uh, your tail lights being LED uh, give the people behind you at 60 mile an hour up to five feet of additional stopping time due to the fact that LED lights uh, flash faster than incandescent. Now below, I already mentioned the power stabilizer jacks, but you can see the enclosed underbelly. That's where it used to stop. This used to have an enclosed underbelly with a 30,000 BTU furnace. And that's just where Cougar stopped. That's where most laminated trailers stopped. And then Cougar said, you know what? We've got the vaulted ceiling. We've got the thicker walls. We've got that thicker interior wall thing. We've already got the big RV feels. Let's take it up a notch. So anything that says Cougar anywhere on it now, as of the windshield generation, is all zero to 100 degree rated. Because uh, they uh, they started with that heating underbelly, but what they did is they rerouted their heat runs so that the heat line itself is supplying heat to the water lines. Then they have uh, a, uh, a T-junction off the main heat line so that your direct force air uh, heating each of your holding tanks. Plus, remember, you also have those electric heating uh, pads on there that are 12 volt and useful for going down the road. Um, then they added heat reflective layering in the roof, the nose, the floor, basically, uh, the slide, to give you, uh, you know, keep the sun out in the summer, keep the furnace in in the winter. And every Cougar now tests and proves zero degree uh, functionality. I think that's absolutely awesome. They also improved their summertime function because they found out that the attic, which is the space between the interior ceiling panel and the roof uh, uh, membrane, wasn't, uh, it was just holding heat. Uh, so they vented that and allowed some heat out in the summer and drastically by like 50 degrees reduced the amount of heat that was being uh, held in the ceiling of the thing. Uh, they've just, they've absolutely crushed it. They spent a ton of money on engineering to do that. Now all the windows you can see open for ventilation. They're all UV tinted to help keep the sun out. Plus a couple things here on the slide. And I know I've done a lot of talking, but there's a lot to talk about on Cougars now. It's actually, they're way more involved than they used to be. It's deceptive how nice they are now. So we start with a seal gripping, leak preventing slide wall. If I can manage to get my fingers behind the seal, you look inside, you can see another seal. So there's always three seals in contact with the slide at any given point. Now, if water does manage to get past that, there's actually an interior rain gutter that'll shunt water down away from the wall. And 
if water runs down the slide wall right here, there is a inverted C channel on this bottom trim because water without assistance can't go up. So that's going to cause the majority of water to bead and drop instead of uh, absorb into the flooring of that slide, which is obviously a bad problem. That's something that used to plague old uh, Fleetwoods after many years. Um, We'll go up on the roof in just a minute here. We have that roof ladder standard to get you up there. You might notice the white section on those tail lights. This has reverse travel lighting. They, they I'll say borrowed that idea from Jayco's uh, J Smart lighting, but those things are bright. That is no joke, especially if you put a camera on the back of that. Uh, you have uh, great visibility for backing into a site at night, or it'll help your spotter make sure you're not going to bash into anything. Now this black panel, I should have opened, that is your TV hookup, and this has the new key TV feature, which basically, it will detect whatever signal you're trying to send to the TV uh, and change over to that. So there's no more like signal booster, antenna booster, none of that stuff. That's another proprietary thing that Keystone's put in across the board. Now they also have a two inch receiver hitch on the back here so that you can bring along bikes without voiding your three-year structural warranty. And once again, it shocks me how many RVs are built, and I swear, hoping you fail, hoping you screw up that warranty, and that's not going to be the case here. So again, we've got some awesome patio space going on with this, and it's a remote control patio. You can operate it uh, from your phone. Auto rain dump feature, easy tilt awning arms that are self-correcting if you close them, full length LED lighting. Anti-slam entry door, bigger folding handle entry door. I mean, just all kinds of goodness going on. But what I want to zero in on here is an update compared to last year. That's the new addition to the uh, Moride stable step system that you have. Uh, these things are just awesome. Those adjustable foot pegs, since the steps are doing the supporting, they're, they're supporting your weight, the trailer just doesn't tend to rock about when people come and go. Now over here, this is that little mini outside kitchenette I mentioned. They first kind of stumbled into the fact that they could do this on a 29 BHS uh, bunkhouse, but they've since added it here to the 26 RKS, the 26 RBS, uh, all over the place. It's become a very neat feature that they use all over the place. And one more thing I want to talk about before we climb up to the roof is not just that this thing has a huge unobstructed awning, but the fact that it covers both entry doors nicely and cleanly. And that's just very handy for coming and going so you don't have rain dribbling in the door at the end of the day, or you know, as you come and go. Up top, a couple things to point out. I like how they're color keying their awning to the roof line. I don't always leave the awnings open when I get on the roof, so I, you know, sometimes I don't get a chance to see that. All you usually get to see is that dark strip where it's rolled up right there. So this roof is double vaulted and that gives it one of the strongest load-bearing designs. You know, an arch is the best load-bearing design I think we've ever stumbled into. I think the Romans knew that, and I think that's why a lot of their stuff is still standing. And it gives us not just a walkable roof, but something we don't talk about a lot in this business, maybe because a lot of RVs don't have it, is the fact that this also has walkable slide boxes. You've got the same 3 8 roof decking on top of that slide box as you have here in the main box of the RV, and that's a really uncommon quality. Also, they are just heavy handed as all get out with their sealant on these cougars so that you know, you're not going to have that oops factory missed a spot, you've got a leak, and we'll cover it under warranty, but now you're gonna have to be down for the count for however long kind of situation. They want you camping. They want you out there having a good time. That's what I like about these guys. There's plenty of good RVs out there. I mean, we carry so many different brands here at Halet RV, and they're all the best in a different way. But these guys have become really kind of unique. I mean, there's just not a lot of RVs that have that lighter weight uh, you know, quality with a heavyweight equipment package. It's a really cool thing they've done here. So whether it's hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery, and everything in between, we do it all at Halet RV. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.